bit more sexually uh, explicitive, suggestive, not explicit, but suggestive kind of Eurobeat song. Very nice track. <laughs> Very nice trip, the song about the sexy time. <laughs> guys, well welcome back to Mandy Energy with none other than me, Mandy, and my energy! And I'm holding a microphone because it's not what all the cool YouTubers do and I want to sit at the cool kids table. If I was to want to be a cool YouTuber, I'd have to have one of those proper microphones, not a snowball, and I'd be able to ram it in my mouth and have YouTube want to be upset if I was monetized. Today I'm coming at you with a little bit of an impromptu Eurobeat video. And yes, we are back to Eurobeat. So, we are going to be discussing today different songs I thought would be good obscure introductions to YouTube, to YouTube, <laughs> to Eurobeat. I just changed the way I'm sitting and I feel a lot happier with myself and a lot more comfortable. I don't know why, but apparently I'm incapable of sitting properly. It's, it's a struggle in my life. I've had a ton of people request this video and I've been dodging doing it because I play different songs for different people. Today I thought I would actually bite the figurative bullet and I would sit down and talk about off the top of my head, there's no pre-prep here, this is an impromptu video, some songs, I'll try to keep it five or six, that I think for some people would be a good introduction to Eurobeat. Um, yeah, Eurobeat has a lot of interesting songs with a lot of interesting lyrics with a lot of interesting use of the English language in ways that are so amazing, I can't even put it to words. So let's just get right into the video and get some of these songs underway, right guys? First song we will be discussing here today on Mandy Energy! Look like I'm about to sneeze and hit my head on the table. It is a classic Eurobeat song that I actually kind of had fall off the face of the earth or my playlists for a number of years. And a few months ago, I rediscovered and re-listened to it, and I'm back in love with it. And that is Ding Dong Don. Ding Dong Don? Ding Dong Dan? Ding Dong Dan by Susie Lazy, a.k.a. Clara Maroney. This is off to a fantastic start. We're just, we're going full speed here, aren't we, guys? If you ring my bell, my heart goes back. that I very much enjoy. It's from Super Eurobeat Volume 65. It is a thoroughly enjoyable track. Um, if you ring her bell, her heart goes ding, don, don, ding, don, don. It's wonderful. I love it. I like Eurobeat songs that are well-made productions. You can tell the person, the producer, the writer, the singer, the Eurobeat peoples, the Europeans, that there was time spent on the song and that it turned out really well. But I like Eurobeat songs that have that 10 out of 10 effort, and then they have things like Ding Don Don. Now for a lot of 1990 to 1998, I'd say, maybe even later, Eurobeat, a lot of songs have titles based off of other popular songs. In the case of this song, I feel like that might have been the case. In the case of this song, I feel like that might have been the case. That's well explained. Great job. Cringe. So much cringe factor. This is actually a song a number of years ago I played for a couple of people as an introduction to Eurobeat. So I feel like this is a steadfast, honorable suggestion for Eurobeat. I feel like it's a good demonstration of Delta. Early on Delta. I feel like it's a well-made song. I feel like Clara Maroney's vocals are great. She has a beautiful voice. She's freakishly talented on another note. But that doesn't matter. <laughs> Susie Lazy, ding dong dong. <laughs> I can't say the title for my life next song. Next song I have for you guys is a classic, classic 90s Eurobeat song. And you cannot have a recommended list for Eurobeat without having a 90s track by Gino Carria. Not Korea, Carria. And my song in this situation 
that I used to thoroughly enjoy and has set in the past ah, month has made it back onto my gym rotating playlist is Hot Girl by Dr. Money. It was on Maharaja Knight High Energy Revolution Volume 5. It's the one with the really gaudy, was that a panther? A leopard? It's not Alessandra gaudy, it's gaudy. You know what I mean? Sorry, bad jokes, moving on. I like Hot Girl for my gym playlist because, as with all vain women, I want to look like a hot girl. Hot girl is very inspirational. I'm speaking incredibly monotone, but it's true. This is a super fun Eurobeat song. As with most of Gino's songs, they have this kind of like underlying like sexual tone to them, and that's part of the charm of his voice. That's part of the charm of especially early Eurobeat, is the really weird, overhyped sexuality of it at times. At times, not always, at times. But if you're going to recommend Eurobeat to somebody, you've got to show them kind of different elements of Eurobeat. And I feel like Hot Girl by Dr. Money is an excellent example of 90s hyper over sexuality in the music. So I, I, yeah, Hot Girl. She drives you crazy all night day. She's got emotional getaway. We have a song, one of, just, I love this song, guys. Go Baby Go by A Beat Sisters, AKA a couple of the female singers at A Beat C back in, what was this, 1997 this was released, I think? Super Eurobeat Volume 85? Oh. Sisters Go Baby Go is what I feel a great collaborative effort is for female singers in the 90s. I feel like it's almost a perfect concept for the group atmosphere that was being done. Later it was done more. There were more group projects. But there were only a couple that I can recall off the top of my head in the 90s that had actual different singers participating. And A Beat Sisters has three or four, if I remember correctly, women from A Beat C participating. It's bubbly, it's danceable, it's fun. The energy, the spunk, the fun. I feel like Go Baby Go encompasses that in every possible way. I can't omit Go Baby Go, and I've recommended this song multiple times to people over the years. This is a song that just, I think of Eurobeat, and I think of if somebody says, what's a, what's a Eurobeat song by women? that encompasses the genre, this is one of those songs, Go Baby Go by A Beat Sisters. And I especially loved the remix of it. Oh my god, that remix. Next song! Okay, we're jumping forward from Go Baby Go about seven years now. We're at Super Eurobeat Volume 148, and we are at Time All Stars 150. <laughs> Okay, I think I did enough of that. Don't stop the countdown mix From me to slay the beat Don't stop the rhythm of the night And the lure of it delight Dark in the night And all the people now are singing One of the fifty, one of the fifty Super Max Selection, Super Euro Shock A song that I have, to many people in my life's dismay, to a song that I have many a time suggested to people, or have sent a link to, or have said, please listen to this, good sir, you will never unhear it, is 150, 150 by Time All Stars. I thoroughly love. Duh! 
dark in the night and all the people now are singing. Anyway, 150, 150 by Time All Stars is fantastic. This is a song that was made for obviously Super Yerby Volume 150, a major milestone in the Super Yerby series while it was still everlasting and not never lasting or no longer lasting. It encompasses a lot of the history of Super Eurobeat. It samples different songs throughout it by Time Records. It just it touches on a lot of Eurobeat songs. And I feel like when you're trying to introduce somebody to Eurobeat, this kind of silliness or this kind of all-encompassing energy that is Eurobeat is super important to kind of note to them if you're trying to draw them into the music as much as you are. It's like entrapment. <laughs> anyway, 150 is a great song. I really enjoy it. I know that a lot of fans that are into Eurobeat from Initial D or from Para Para aren't as familiar readily with it, and that's fine. But if you want a suggestion for a Eurobeat song that is about Eurobeats, 150 is perfect. Baby. Let's talk about a Eurobeat song. I, uh, I, I'm going to call it a guilty pleasure, but. I think it's a lot of people's guilty pleasure as far as Eurobeat goes. And that is Limousine by Manuel. Because when you think of a luxury vehicle to write a song about, by default you think of a limousine. I really, really like this song. This is a fun Eurobeat song. It has one of the most, I think, universally appreciated Eurobeat songs, period. Call the chef, order a sushi. Limousine is a lot of fun. It is a energetic, well-produced track. Manuel wrote it. It's just, it's, it's fun! And it's a Eurobeat song about limos. It's just, it's magical. This is just a fun song. I wouldn't historically recommend this song to people, but as I've been listening to it more recently, and I've been in the car with people and the song has come on, I found this is actually a song that makes people listen and go, what? Because Manuel's vocal range is, he hits such high notes. People are always kind of caught off guard by that, and then they actually want to hear what's going on in the song. Limousine by Manuel. As I said, we're jumping back in time to Maharaja Knight High Energy Revolution Volume 21. And, oh boy, I have a, uh, I have a treat for you. So we know Eurobeat as a genre that talks about a couple of things. Cars, check, set, check, fire, desire, insert word there, check. How does, um, loosely fitting in abstinence? work. I'm drawing some conclusions that are not there. This is technically a uh, a song called Get Up and Go by Veronica Sales, aka Karen J. Wainwright, and it's about her telling a guy they're not gonna on that day, or in that situation, or ever. Here's how it goes when you're alone. He wants to take out all your clothes But you know, when I say no I really mean that I say no I think it's time to get up and go This is just what it means when a girl tells a man no Get up and go, just let him know Understand what it means when a girl says no And it's it's a treasure. When I'm willing, I'll be ready for love that is so fulfilling. But for now, I'll keep my loving. It's worth more than one night of humping. <laughs> I've actually always liked this Eurobeat song. I thought it, it always stood out in the crowd to me. It is not your typical standard Eurobeat fare. It is about something vastly different. <laughs> 
than what we're used to in Eurobeat. And that's okay. And oddly enough, Get Up and Go actually works. It works really well and Karen nails it. Now you're probably going, why on earth would you recommend this Eurobeat song to somebody, Mandy? Uh, this song has nothing to do pretty much with any other song in the genre and you would overall be correct, wouldn't you? But I think it's just fun. It's one of those random quirky tracks that fits into the genre that shines. Okay, so this last song I'm going to be discussing as my battery runs low is Full Power by Derek Simmons. This song should be of no shock to anybody. It is from Maharaja Night High Energy Revolution Volume 9. It is a fantastic, fantastic production. I want to song for people to introduce them to Eurobeat since I was 14 probably, 14 or 15, since I first heard the song. I thoroughly loved and enjoyed it in every way possible. I feel like this is a song that encompasses the early 90s, mid 90s sound to a T, perfectly. Of course I can't have a list like this either without having Thomas on it, Mega Energy Man. And of course he sings the vocals on full power. This song warms the cockles of my heart and it represents the genre. I don't have better to phrase it. Well baby, I can't take no more. I can't take no more of my explanations. That's why I can't take no more of. So as I'm sure you can see from this list, there is a ton of stuff omitted. I also tried to stay away from songs that were featured in initial D. So that wraps up this video today, guys. Um, if I did not meet your expectations, I'm sorry, I tried. It is a heavy burden upon my shoulders to bring you the Eurobeats and the informations on the Eurobeats. Write a comment down below and maybe write your three to five Eurobeat songs you would suggest to new listeners of the genre or people you're, when you're trying to get someone into the fandom with you. What you, did you even understand that? Alrighty guys, well as I was closing out this video, the battery on my camera actually died. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you really enjoyed the video and you really want to help me to spread the message of Eurobeat, then feel free to share the video or another video and just Eurobeat everywhere. In the meantime, unlike my camera, keep it classy and I'll catch you in the next video. Baby.